Hey YouTube, how's it going guys? How you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing fantastic. If this is your first time checking out Julia Devine's channel, what is up? My name is Amy. If you're returning guys, welcome back to my channel. So this is your daily message for September 14th. So if you're ready, I'm ready. Let's get going. So we have, I'm going to use two different decks. I'm going to use my divine doors deck and i'm also going to use the postcard from spirit so let's see what comes through so it says dear you do you feel like you need to do all the work and fix everything for everyone or you might have no value maybe you think you need to control everything or else nothing will get done be healed be completed etc you may think you need to conform to what others expect of you or choose a course of action to manipulate an outcome but we don't think that would be a good choice. How about this? Even if it makes you temporarily uncomfortable, do something different. Set that boundary, delegate responsibility to another, ask for your needs to be met, and when faced with an impossible situation or sticky, unmissed relationship, repeat this mantra. I didn't cause it, I can't control it, and it's not my job to cure it. Then carry on. Feels good, doesn't it? The best part is everything just seems to work beautifully and honestly in the end. Love you so much. So what I kind of get from that and what the, what the message comes through t for today is that you have to stop looking for the outcome. You have to stop um, thinking too far ahead. That's, that's kind of what I'm picking up. Because you know how you get into relationships and I just relationships just popped up. And you're automatically, you know, things are going so well and then you automatically get to that, you know, I wonder if, you know, this is going to get, it's kind of, I don't know if this happens for anyone else, but it kind of like, I wonder if this guy is the one and then you're thinking about marriage and you're thinking about what your wedding will look like and babies and I feel like just wherever you are right now, whether if it's relationship, whether if it's career, whether it's just you join or joining um, in the season of singleness, it's really about embracing not, not the future. And when I say that, the only thing you have control over right now is the now. You, you can't control the future. You can't go back and reweight the past, but you can look at where you are right now and make the changes that are necessary to get you to where you want to be. Okay. So Dearest you, we are gathering our magic together to help you celebrate your new beginning. You're stepping into a new version of your life, getting to tell a new story as you create it. Doesn't it feel like spring when the urge to expand walls up inside you? From a primal place, the form of what you are growing has yet to take shape and it's an exciting to experience this new and fresh beginning. It's normal to feel both push and push back when entering any kind of new relationship. It's okay to admit you don't really know what to expect. What you can know is it's time to dive in and allow that new version of life to take shape through you on behalf of your partner in life spirit. You have made it to a new level of awakening and contributing and we are so excited to see where this next, where this takes you next. We're so proud of you. So a lot of you, like I said, are on a new beginning. You're on a new journey and you know, as, as exciting and, and like, you know, beautiful that is, it's also scary, right? Because you don't know what to expect in this season. You don't know what to expect in this new awakening, this new journey. Um, so as you're stepping into this new version of you, as you're stepping into this new version of a relationship or a new version of friendship, a job, whatever the case is, right? It's really about you knowing within yourself that you are worthy of this. It's been a long time coming since most of you have felt this happy. It's that cloud that's been hanging over you is coming to an end. Um, and everyone's going through different storms at different times. But at the end of the day, it's, it's about knowing that whatever storm you have been facing, it's coming to an end. Um, take, the, take the necessary steps to continue to move forward because you are embarking on creating the best version of you. And that's what it is at the end of the day, you know, love and happiness and joy and, and lessons and sadness and anger. Like it's all part of life, right? But we can sit here and decide that 
we're not going to live in our past anymore. We can sit here and decide, you know what, I don't know what the future holds. All I have control over is now, and, and I'm going to make the now the best, you know? Don't wait until New Year's to do a New Year's resolution. Start transforming your life now. Start changing it now. Start taking the time and, you know, the energy on yourself and on what you need to get started and get done, right? Um, because for a lot of you, I just feel like you've been on the back burner for far too long and it's time that you step forward and, and get what's yours. It's time you step forward and see where life takes you next, okay? So last postcard says, Dearest you, everything is in divine order. Even in chaos, there is order and we are always in all of this. For you, though, on your human journey, things can get dis disorganized in your minds and physical reality. You need to get rid of the clutter, whether it's been too many stories in your mind, too many what ifs or fearful thoughts of the past or future. Instead, focus on the now. Empty your mind, clean your house, and throw out any objects that tells you an uncomfortable story. Discern what you have, sort, purge, clean, and organized. We want you to have space to feel with something bigger or better. Spirit loves a vacuum as it gives space for brilliant new energy. Let go of what it is not that's not serving you and give order to what remains. See them and know their value. Your soul needs organization in order to keep your connection to us and to spirit free of distractions. You are so adored by many and we hope you really know that. Wow. So declutter, get real with you. It's kind of what I, what I really, really heard. Um, and when I say get real with you, it's looking at where you are right now and, and being fulfilled with you. L looking at where you are right now and saying, you know what, I have to be whole as an individual before I try to get whole with other people. Um, it's getting your mind right as well. Like, like the card said, everything is in divine order, right? So everything is divine timing. Everything comes to you when it's supposed to. But when you don't feel worthy of things, the universe will not bring you those things because you have to see it as this. If you want that, really, you're, you're waiting for that one relationship, right? But spirit says, if I send you this person and you're not healed, you will not only damage yourself even more, but you're going to damage this other person. So spirit says, until you two are healed from what you need to heal from, you will continue to be a part. So someone just needed to hear that quick message. So I really feel like um, sometimes we have to clear away, let go, pure, purge, um, whatever has been holding us back. And, you know, you have to say to yourself, when you come into these situations, when you come into these conflicts, when you're dealing with these people, is this of my highest good? And if it's not, it's just time to get rid of it because 2020 is heading into 2021. And if anything, 2020 has taught us is that it's just time to... to it's time to grow it. It's time to level up. It's time to, you know, not only love other people more often, but we have to really start loving ourselves. We have to really start being there for ourselves and just really starting living life, you know, stop worrying about the things that we cannot change and, you know, accept the things that we can and just move forward. So we have June's song. It says a reminder for even the most hopeless of lost cause or cases, you can find peace within the strangest of places. So know that whatever loss you're feeling, hopelessness, if you're just feeling down or feeling like nothing is going to come to you, I really feel like sometimes we find peace and hope and happiness in the strangest places. So I feel like the overall message there is that something unexpected is going to happen. It might be an unexpected message, phone call, text, or someone drops by, someone just randomly gives you something, but just keep your eyes open today for that. Change beckons. The path, it, um, if I can read tonight, the path is shifting. The road leads a new way. Do not be alarmed as change beckons today. Lots of changes headed in your way, guys. We also have yes. Kiss the ground and touch the sky. Your soul is set now to leap and to fly. Trust the universe. Intuition has wandered and led you astray. The timing's not yours, but the universe at play. Have faith and breathe. Wow. So trust the universe. Intuition. Simple, complex words of plain pain or words that heal. You come to know truth by the way that it feels. Wow, that's power. 
All right. So hopefully this helps you guys get through Monday. You guys have yourself a fantastic day and I'll see you again.